What's up guys, Eric here and welcome back to the Multiverse Mega Video. Now this is the series where we talk about all of the upcoming Arrowverse shows, promo photos, trailers and discuss what we could possibly see, what we want to see, and maybe even theorize in the comments down below. So, careful for spoilers, if you're not watching these shows right now, you've been warned. Let's start out talking about Batwoman. So this week's Batwoman is season two, episode six, titled Do Not Resuscitate. That's awful dark. It was written by Caroline Dries and Daphne Mills and directed by Holly Dale. Here's a synopsis. As Ryan Wilder's kryptonite wound grows even more severe, it hinders Batwoman's ability to protect Gotham. Growing interest in reproducing the serum from the Desert Rose puts Mary's and Commander Kane's lives in danger. Meanwhile, Alice's reunion with fellow Corianan and inhabitant presents unexpected complications. So, after last week's events of Batwoman, we're still searching for Kate Kane, regardless if we actually care about that story or not. Spoiler alert, I really don't. We have Alice on the run with Ocean, who captured her and did some, I don't know, guess awful things to try and get information. Didn't really seem that way, but I guess that was the implication. Ocean has no memories of the events on Koryana and needs Alice's help to bring those memories back. They're also hooking up, I guess, in a relationship. It's complicated. I think it doesn't really matter now because neither of them really remember it, but I guess that's going to be a plot point moving forward and we'll tackle that in coming episodes. Also, Crypto Who? Crypto What? Crypto Knight. We are finally diving into the wound from way back at the start of the season where Ryan was hit with a kryptonite bullet. Here's the thing. We know that Ryan's not in any danger of dying from this, so just get that out of your minds altogether. This means either she's going to get very sick and weak and need some serious help, which is probably what's going to happen, or the other thing is she could possibly get superpowers. I don't know. You pick. Flip a coin, I guess. That's the mystery. Also, trying to recreate the Desert Rose Serum seems problematic because you're going to need certain things to make the serum, and I'm guessing there aren't many places to hide that stuff, so look out, Mary, I guess. And Sophie wants the map, and she wants, she's going to hunt down Alice to get it. This is the map to Koryana, um, as we saw at the end of last week's episode. There's some confusion on who has the actual map. I'm guessing not Sophie. We're going to tackle that this week. And we find out, I guess, that Ryan is back with Angelique now as a girlfriend. What could that mean? I don't know. Do you guys know? Give me your thoughts and opinions on that in the comments below. Now, here is where I would normally talk about the next show in the lineup, which is Black Lightning, but the CW doesn't have any promo materials out there. And I mean none. I haven't seen a trailer, photos, synopsis, information, nothing. And I've done a lot of digging this week. So unfortunately, due to when I'm going to create and upload these mega videos, I can't wait until the last minute for them to tease episodes of Black Lightning because it's probably going to be really, really close to when the episode comes out which means that would be before or after Batwoman, not before Batwoman. So I think it's quite upsetting that they're not promoting Black Lightning at all. I don't know why they're not doing it. No real reason, I guess. Sorry, folks, we won't be talking about Black Lightning each week unless they start releasing promo materials. So I guess get on social media and demand that. That's really the only way it's going to happen. Next up, let's talk about The Flash. I'm so excited. This is the premiere episode of season seven and it's titled All's Wells That Ends Wells. And it was written by Alexandra LaRoche and was directed by Sam Chalson and Laura Serto. Here's a synopsis. When an experiment to save Barry's speed backfires, Nash Wells searches for a way to save The Flash and comes up with a dangerous plan. Meanwhile, Iris makes a startling realization inside the Miraverse, and Cecile faces off with Rosa Dillon. So this is kind of the leftover stuff from last season, and it's quite literally how the season was supposed to end. Now, if you need to catch up from last season and you don't totally remember everything, go ahead and click up in the right corner now and check out my Flash Season 7 catch-up video that really just sort of combines everything we need to know from last season and gets you ready for this upcoming week. Then, come back over here and watch the rest of this. So, anyway, based on what we know, we can expect more Iris and Miraverse stuff. Will she get out? How is she going to get out? How deep down the rabbit hole did she go before she unlocks the secrets of the Miraverse? We'll also have to take a look at this new speed force that fails, this attempt that Barry tries to do to create it and it just doesn't work. 
Also, what are Nash's plans to fix things? Because he's not a typical he's not a typical Wells. So he's not the kind of person to sit around and do all those things. But you know, he does have stuff going on in his mind. Maybe he taps into that. That's how he does all of this because there's multiple Wellses in there, I believe. We're gonna have to see how that plays out. We also have to wrap up the Ralph Dibney storyline from last season. As we know, Harley Sawyer is gone and won't be coming back. So what is gonna happen to Ralph Dibney? What does this mean for Sue? She's been slated to have a role in the series moving forward, even without Ralph. So how are they gonna set that up? What are your theories on that? Make sure you leave that in the comments below. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not totally invested in the Cecile stuff, but it seems like yet again, she's gonna be like a MacGuffin character playing a role this season. You know, look, here's the thing. If you're gonna use Cecile in the storyline, please expand her story to make her a bigger character that doesn't just use her on screen as a ploy to advance the plot. That's a very big problem on The Flash. It's the only show I know that does it consistently with characters. Give them an actual story. You've got all these characters, make it relevant. Don't just make them a plot point. Lastly, we have the mirror master, mirror mistress, mirror bad girl person. Uh, will she will she last beyond the first few episodes? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. This is a remnant from last season. So how much that's going to play into season seven? Who knows? Also, Barry is supposed to get speed thinking. Here's my thing about that. Wouldn't he already have speed thinking? Like, how can you be a speedster and function with those abilities without being able to perceive and process things at super speed? I mean, I guess from his perspective, that doesn't matter. But there has to be something there. I don't totally get it. We're going to have to see how they work this out. I'm skeptical, speed thinking, your thoughts and opinions. Anything you want to see from this episode of The Flash, what are you looking forward to? Leave it down in the comments below. Lastly, let's discuss Superman and Lois. What a highly successful premiere from the series. The audience seems to love what they saw, and that's very important because trending social media, talking about it, having it everywhere is what they want, and it seems like that is exactly what happened. Now, this upcoming episode is episode two of season one. It's titled Heritage, and it was written by Todd Helbing and directed by Lee Tolan Krieger. Here is a synopsis. Clark shares some of his Kryptonian history with Jordan and Jonathan during a family breakfast. Meanwhile, Lois and Chrissy dig deeper to uncover the truth about Morgan Edge. So that's a short synopsis, but we got a pretty beefy trailer from the premiere special that included footage from episode two and beyond. So let's talk about what I think we're gonna see in episode two, and we may see it in episode three or four, but let's jump into this. So I think we're gonna meet the new TV version of Jor-El as Superman wants to take Jordan to the Fortress of Solitude. And I'm curious how much this will look like the version we have on Supergirl. Will it be the same set? Will it be a different set altogether? Did Crisis change this as well? Because it's kind of what's going on with Superman and Lois. There's a lot of changes from Crisis. I wonder how the change of pace for the boys is affecting them being in Smallville instead of Metropolis. Now, I personally think it's gonna have a bigger impact on Jonathan over Jordan. From as far as we could tell, Jordan certainly likes keeping to himself, so it'll be interesting to see if that's a big deal moving forward. Spoiler alert, I'll be shocked if it doesn't make a huge difference for Jonathan, specifically because of the sports element. We'll have to wait and see. Also, I believe we're gonna meet the new Morgan Edge, who has also been recast for this series as well. Again, lots of changes from Crisis for Superman and Lois. Lois is gonna be butting heads with him and digging deeper into the mystery of why he wants land in Smallville. What could be the reason why Morgan Edge wants to buy up all of those homes from that reverse mortgage thing he pulled with the bank? What is the process of this? What is his end game? You'll have to let us know in the comments below. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Also, I expect more on Captain Luther, this character. We need to know more about him. It's gonna take a week off from battles. I don't think we're gonna see a big battle between him and Superman again, not yet. We might, but I'm thinking no. Uh, but you guys let me know your comments down below if you think we're gonna see more of a big battle from those two, or if we're just gonna be dealing with more of his backstory, because I really, really wanna know more about him and this multiversal existence of Captain Luther, where he, what his role is gonna be in the series. It's really gonna be interesting, and I'm super excited. So, out of the three shows we discussed, and we can include Black Lightning, even if it's not giving us any promo materials, which one of these shows are you looking the most forward to seeing this week? Is it the Flash premiere? Are you hyped for that one? Are you looking forward to the follow-up of that amazing Superman and Lois debut episode? Are you digging Ryan Wilder and Batwoman? Is that your jam? Is that what you want to see? Or is Black Lightning really doing it for you this season as we're getting more and more 
family drama between the uh, between Jefferson, Lynn, and the girls. Let me know in the comments below and give me your thoughts and opinions. That's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel to get constant content every single week from the Arrowverse and Marvel content. Also, give me a like if you enjoyed this video and definitely leave a comment below. Hit the join button if you want to support the channel another way and see if there's anything in there that you like and you're interested in. That's it, you guys. Take care, and I will catch you in the next video. See you then.